Hello and welcome to the Tools for Motherhood activity series. In our video today, we're going to be taking a look at a pre-math activity that's called Counting by Twos, and it will be for children ages five to six. Let's go ahead and take a look at the materials that we will need. All right, the goal of this activity is to share with your child visual examples of counting by two. So how you'll start by gathering materials that you have around your house. Uh, for example, um, I've got some illustrations here on the slide. We've got a picture of a pair of shoes, so that would represent two. Uh, four would represent wheels on a wagon. Um, how about six? Look around your house. Do you have a six pack of pop or maybe a container of six um, juice boxes or that looks like these are paint uh, bottles? Um, how about um, eight? Uh, spider legs could represent the number eight. Ten could represent fingers on our hands. And also twelve could represent eggs in an egg carton. All right, so once you gather your supplies, lay those out in front of you on the floor between you and your child. Go through each one of the examples and count them. For example, as you show the wheels, count each of the wheels. One, two, three, four four and say there are four wheels or count the eggs. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There are twelve eggs. And again, go through each of the examples. Once you've counted all of them, lay them in order from two all the way up to twelve and counting by twos. Once you begin um, sharing with them, help them to understand that the wagon represents four wheels. Uh, so that's going to represent a number. Around the age of four, children are still dealing specifically with concrete objects. It helps them to understand. So depending on the maturity level, the um, ability level of each of our children, um, try to stick with concrete examples or things that they can touch and feel. If, for example, you don't have a red wagon, uh, perhaps you could Google and get a picture of it, and that would be an, it's called an abstract concept or an abstract picture, um, but that would be the next best thing. So, once again, you get your examples of each of the, the family of twos. All right, you've got this on the floor, you've counted through each of them. Now, you're going to count slowly and model for them how to count by twos. For example, of course, you'd have your shoes, the two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Have them repeat after me. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Um, start off slowly and then go a little bit faster. Go through that several times. What they're doing right now, it's called rote counting. In other words, they are merely saying a string of numbers that they don't fully understand yet, but that is part of the learning process. All right, you've given them a visual example. They can touch and feel it, they can count it. You have practiced the numbers together and um, you have gone through and recited or said the, the table of twos, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. Um, when you're in the car, when you are in line, you can say, let's count by twos. And again, it just tries to jog those um, rote counting and now you're practicing um, just in everyday life. So let's now fast forward. What you've done is you've built the concept of counting by twos in their mind. So now fast forward when they get to school and we're practicing for school readiness, they are going to be ready for the, the twos timetables when the time comes. Because in the classroom, when they're learning the times tables or the twos times tables, they have to memorize two times one is two, two times two is four, and so on and so forth. This way, and, and count or when they're multiplying like that, that is more of an abstract concept. But what you have done is you have helped to build a concrete um, example in their mind of what they're doing in math in the classroom because now they can remember back that an egg carton has 12 in it. Um, their hands have 10. 
their shoes represent two, so on and so forth. So you have built a great foundation for helping them to understand multiplication with the two times tables by learning to count by twos. Thank you for watching. If you would like more ideas, check out our toolsfromotherhood.com website. Happy learning!